Hey folks, Daniel here, speaking to you from my home here in Scottsdale. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about my commitment and my excitement about teaching drumming. Um, I've, I've taught beginners, intermediate, advanced students uh, over 30 years, starting in Europe and uh, now in America. I, I teach mostly tablas, but I also teach djembe and uh, you know, beginner courses, uh, intermediate courses, and and uh, I enjoy it tremendously. And um, one of the the greatest joys that I have from teaching is watching my students uh, like emerge from like a struggle into like how much fun they have with uh, getting into it, uh, getting into the flow of drumming, and. You know, many of, of many of the people get into drumming because they um, uh, attend. That's what I heard the most. That's that's the most common story. They, uh, you know, were in some city and uh, heard somewhere some drumming going on and uh, joined a, a drum circle and had an experience that they wanted to experience again. Because it, it's a certain feeling um, uh, that comes from drumming together, from making music together that, you know, it's otherwise not so easy, uh, so easy to attain. And so, but to make that step to actually join in is often associated with a block or with some insecurity or somebody has told you you're not uh, musical or you, or you can't play or you have some ideas about music that stand in the way and, and many people do. And so uh, everybody feels that to some degree that there's some sort of hurdle to overcome. And there's a few things that uh, surely, uh, you know, when you know, know them, they, they make like a, a huge difference. And we know a lot of different things about music, but for the most part, in my experience, most people don't know what to do in order to join in when people make music with each other. And we also often make a kind of music that if you don't know the music, if you don't know the words or the song, or whatever, you can't join in. So I, you know, I'm interested in the form of music that we can all join in together. And then of course, drumming is the first step because that we can all, in the beat, we can meet. It's a simple thing. It really is. And, and so I've set up my classes so that it's easy to get into or to, to overcome that barrier very easy and that you can have fun really from, uh, from the first moment on. And, uh, and that's the beauty, the, the amazing beauty of, of music that it's, you know, I, I want to call it, it's vertical. It's like it allows everybody to participate. And when we do it right, then a person who's just in the beginning can just join in through a very simple thing they're doing and play together with somebody who has really advanced skills. That's absolutely possible. But oftentimes we don't use music in that kind of way. And so um, we have more and more of these kinds of experiences. You know, we do this here in Phoenix every first Friday on the street. And more and more people sort of get into it. We learn how to do this better and better way. So... Um, and so that's, uh, of course, uh, a really important part that it uh, is kind of fun from the beginning um, and, and that it stays fun. And uh, now what's exciting lately is that we have uh, gotten in so much, uh, and, and this is now a couple of decades that we know that drumming has uh, a tremendous uh, benefits for human beings. When drum together is therapeutic, is, is really, really helpful. Uh, but even in the last couple of years, uh, studies came in, long-term studies, all kinds of different kinds of studies that not only show this tremendous emotional benefits that uh, people have, that it's a de-stress, that uh, they can, you know, more settle inside of themselves and all kinds of, uh, of beautiful benefits on that level, but that we actually have um, uh, on the health and wellness side tremendous 
benefits uh, what our overall health and wellness is concerned. From uh, inflammatory chemicals in our system, the reduction of that through simple drumming, to brain hemisphere synchronization, uh, the list just goes on and on and on. And uh, the common sort of uh, understanding about why that is, is simply because uh, when you drum and you all coordinate, have to coordinate your hands, your, your mind, your, your whole system in this kind of way, everything is engaged and your whole brain is engaged. Uh, the full person is into that. And, and so that, that's just not very easy to find an activity where every part of your system is, is engaged at once, so you, you're relating to somebody else, you're figuring some, something out, you're listening, you're trying to coordinate your left side, left and right side, you're trying to make a good sound, and so on. The list is quite extensive when you learn how to look at that right way. What I have developed after I learned more traditionally, I've learned tablas in a very traditional way, I learned djembe in the traditional settings like that, how, how they do it in West Africa. And I respect that greatly, and I, I have such a love for that tradition. Without that, we wouldn't have all the skills that we can develop. But for this particular need of drum circles, and for the people in, in my environment, I developed a, a way that takes the simplicity of that very much into our, our consideration. So it's not a, a traditional way, but it's a way that's uh, built on simple numbers. Start with one, two, four, eight. Uh, numbers that come to us from nature, they are part of how we made. And when we do that, we have all the benefits of uh, you know, bilateral exercising, uh, up and down movement, the feeling of weight, bouncing, uh, sitting free. All kinds of things play into consideration when we play with each other, the way we practice, the way we coordinate the practice with each other, uh, so that it creates, um, you know, a form of a wiggle, you know, a form of a repetitive wave. And that wave can work on us and set things more into the center. And the effects speak for themselves. You can, you can read it in the review, reviews all over my, uh, my webpage. And that's, you know, it's partially my way of teaching, but it's, I just want to say thank you to, to drumming <laughs> and to music. It is, it's just a force of nature that we jump on and it works for us. It's just really beautiful. So that's my in invitation to you to, to connect back with me with something that humanity has done forever and it's in every indigenous culture. Let's create it in a new way here with each other. And so, you know, after the basic course that I do, that you get into, there's a lot of place to grow into. I have several people who join me in more advanced classes and and then come together for events and help me out when we when we drum out in in the public or for events and stuff. So there's there's plenty of places to grow into and do it with each other to create a living communal music culture, right? How about that, right? Okay. Talk to you soon. Hope to see you sometime in my class.